This is a Honda Scoopy. It's nothing special to be exact. It's a boring little scooter for doing errands and scooting around town. And if you notice, it looks quite similar to a particular brand of scooters. To be honest, this is not a formal review because who gives a shit about the Scoopy? Rather, this is an appreciation of this simple machine. Vespa, the Italian brand of scooters made since the early age of industrialization in the 1900s, where internal combustion engines are starting to become a norm of transport. Italians love their scooters no matter how old it is. The iconic look of the Vespa defines what a scooter should look like. A classic motorcycle where its style and form never gets old. Since the Italian scooter has this flavor of style that makes you look smooth like James Bond, it's a valuable machine to have. But the problem is that you are not in Italy. This can cost more than what you expect from its size. Which means it's exclusive to only those who can't afford to buy and maintain this good. With a huge market potential, copycat competition is sure to pop out out of nowhere like mushrooms. One of the most popular alternatives was the Kimco Like, a near Vespa looking machine by a Taiwanese scooter maker that has a good footprint in Europe already and also makes scooter engines for BMW. Another copycat maker are from the Far East. Yamaha has their Fino and Honda has their Scoopy, which is a facelift of their existing scooter platform to cut R&D costs. So basically this classic scooter wannabe is a Honda Beat wearing Italian clothing. Yes, obviously this is not a Vespa, and not even near a Vespa. But I have to agree that Honda's reliability is far better than the Vespa. As a matter of fact, the only Italian about the Vespa is the name. Everything else is Viet Cong if you're living in Southeast Asia. You see, tatlong bagay lang reliable sa mundo. Yun ay ang pangako ng politiko, taxes, and small Japanese motorcycle engines. Hindi lahat tayo willing magkalikot ng makina or parts ng motor unless beer is involved. What most riders would want is a machine that would run and work with little maintenance at all. And that's what this funky named scooter is all about. It's an everyday reliable partner with a style of an Italian scooter. The Scoopy is nearly a decade old already and has seen its days. Obviously it is not in its best shape, but like the Honda Cub, it still runs no matter how much you abuse the engine. There are cracks, scratches, step board has faded away due to numerous feet movement, the speedometer has stopped working, rear suspension has surrendered which why my dad had it replaced, years has passed but Still, it is intact. Kickstart is working, mirrors are working. Well, that means I can ride this thing. This thing is barely taken care of. My dad gives it a car wash every once in a month. Oil change is more than what is recommended. And he doesn't give a shit what more oil he uses. Motorcycle oil, diesel engine oil, car engine oil, as long as it has oil, the thing still runs and never had any major breakdown. My dad knows how to repair a motorcycle engine, which why he really does not care what he puts on it. The only time he had to put out the engine is when he had to replace the seals and adjust the valve, and that's about it. He drives it on a sedative manner, which I believe why this even lasted this long without any major repairs. The odometer is clocked at 56,000 and 
this scooter has not stretched its legs for nearly 6 years. Dahil noon, tinatakas ko lang ito pag pupunta sa sama ng dad ko. And I would ride it as if, if I stole it. The feeling of riding a scooter for the very first time is incredible and exciting. And the thrill na baka mahuli ka ng tatay mo makes it even more heart racing. It never felt so good riding this machine and it made your childhood great. This was my first time to ride. This what made me quit on cars and started my passion and love for two-wheeled vehicles. There is something about the feeling of the wind, the feeling of the road. And now, after six years, I will stretch her milf old legs wearing Pirellis and see if she can still accelerate like a teenager. Or perhaps it could have an asthma attack with its carburetor. Definitely, she still can't sprint. The age-old engine can still perform and last for another decade to come. It might not be as powerful as I would expect back in the days since horses does not live that long. But it was more than I could even ask for. If you are in the market for scooters with class or gusto mo lang ihatid ang anak or apo mo, then this is more than enough. You can even use this for work as the engine requires less maintenance. Near bulletproof and idiot proof, she can't carry the weight of two grown beer belly dads with the case of beer on the front without issues as I've seen it personally. You don't need the bigger engine as no matter how small the engine is, you'll get there. No matter how slow you go, you will get there. Unlike its modern counterparts, the Scoopy retains the feeling of classic thanks to the Italian looking design. It somehow blends to its urban environment. Even after the years that has passed, it never gets old. Where everyone wants to be dashing, striking, sharp lines, and some busy graphic design, this simply just look like your dad entering Starbucks and ordered brewed coffee with newspaper. I have thought of giving my dad an upgrade and buying him a Click 125, but there is something about this scooter that won't let me. What if my dad does not take the Click 125? What if he keeps using that old Scoopy? What's with that scooter anyway? Then I realized that it's not about the scooter, it's not about the Scoopy, it's not about the Vespa, it's not about Honda, it's not about whatever motorcycle brand it is, it's about how my dad grew affection with this machine, it's about the years he used it, the moments he spent on it, the love and relationship built from it. It became a sentimental value. It's no longer about names or brands, but how much memories have you made with the machine. Whenever I will see a Scoopy, I think about my dad. Whenever I will go out to the garage, I think about my dad whenever I see a Scoopy. I think about my childhood memories whenever I see a Scoopy. You see, it doesn't matter what motorcycle or scooter it is. If your dad owned it for a very long time and you and your dad have built memories with it, 
it somehow connects your emotions with the machine, the memories with it. Vespa is just another scooter manufacturer, but what built its name is not reliability or how cool and simple it is, but how much memory it had built for the baby boomers, and what and that machine was passed on and on, building memories of sentimental value. It makes us remember our parents, our friends and family that is simply involved with it.